Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all road, you already know it's the Galactic one. Little dude on hell. We back cracking spells. Shout out to all the Galactic audience. 720 degrees. Shout out to the whole you all world by living in the universal right order. Shout out to the House of Consciousness. House of Consciousness Connected Chapter. Message being brought to you by Core TV, Kingdom of Rights and TV. The show is called Wake Up Sheeple. Y'all already know I do. We're about to jump right into the demonstration. I say to all the great prophets, ancestors, aiders, messiahs, messengers who came before, making the platform available so we could be here today giving you the message. I say to Fred, you know what I'm saying? You know, my mind heavy. But yeah, man, jumping right into the demo. Words carry spirits. You know, I was gonna deal with the music shit and talk about how the, the, the frequency of the music puts us in a certain state. First of all, we don't even understand the whole science of the music and why it was created and you know how it got watered down to what it is right now. What we call it music, it wasn't music to us uh back in the days. We was on some you know, in ancient times. In ancient times, we was basically going into trance states through sounds. You know what I'm saying? Sound cause healing. Sound uh, has an effect on the human body. The different uh, pitches uh, coming from the, the frequency has a different effect on man, woman. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, um, you know, we don't understand music, right? And so we, we, we used to use it for trance state. When you listen to music, it kind of like that shit puts you in a trance. That's because that's what we used to do going to a trance to be more spiritual, to stay connected on the spiritual realm, knowing we was down here in the physical. We had to stay in tune, so we would use that type of shit to chant, make it rain, you know, uh, want crops to grow, want a kid to be born, a child to be born, excuse me, not a kid, that mean baby goat, but a child to be born, you know, different things that we would want to manifest. Um, we would kind of go into a trance state and all of that and do a ceremony ritual and make things happen, right? So it ended up getting watered down to just like music, you know what I'm saying? So what we call it today, you know, and this this is digital music nowadays, so that's automatically has an effect because it's not even natural sounds anymore. But um, music and the music tones have been changed from, you know, 520, 432 hertz and all of that, you know, the love frequency into the devil's tones, right? Which is a more down, down in tone. So with that being said, now the lyrics in the songs, you know what I'm saying? Being that we speak in the English language, we don't really understand that English is an amalgamation of Phoenician, Greek, Roman, Latin, uh, Old English, Middle English type shit, you know, all combined and compiled. Those languages are actually grafted from other languages, you know what I'm saying? They're not original languages, you know what I'm saying? So we getting a watered down, watered down, watered down, watered down version just to speak. So we, we speak in very acidic English language, the modern English language that we speak today is very acidic because it's like a mutt language. It's mixed up with a whole bunch of different languages. So when you be speaking, you can't really connect with people sometimes and the conversation is off and you wondering why they just can't get what you're saying and it's simple and all this other shit. That's because it's English language. And you may be originally part of another culture and stuff like that. And the being may be part of another culture and they just can't comprehend it. You know how you be in school and the shit be like, what the fuck is this lady talking about? This shit's so boring. Like you're not in this shit. It's not for you. You want a higher level than their edu so-called education, right? We looking for enlightenment. They trying to educate us. You know what I'm saying? So it don't work. But long story short, when you think of the lyrics that's in the songs, you know, I took it back to James Brown and how James Brown was one of the most prominent mega stars that we had that, you know, uh, touched damn near all the black community in the United Snakes of America, United States of America or the United States of America, what we really know it to be, and touched all the, you know, the Moorish people, the black people, ETC, right? James Brown. His word and his tone that he used in a certain frequency that he was on, he started this whole I'm bad thing. You know, bad etymology goes back into like some type of freak. You know, um, it's 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 a certain word, you know, in its origin that deals with like uh, it's a defected. You know what I'm saying? Defected, damn near. You know what I mean? So you got to think of how we use words today. And, you know, James Brown was on, I'm bad, uh, bad, bad, huh, huh, bad, right? And that frequency resonated. He ended up blowing up off that I'm bad shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they pushed that, basically. You know what I'm saying? And look how he was dressed, permed up, you know what I'm saying? Tight clothes, ETC. Go to Michael Jackson. 
prior to Michael Jackson, it was other people trying to take on a bad image, like Prince, shit like that, whatever. There's certain other artists was coming out trying to be bad, but, you know, on the bad way. Michael Jackson came, was a little kid. Y'all seen how he was then? He was nothing like he was until he did the I'm Bad album, right? The I'm Bad, I'm Bad and all that. It changed his whole frequency. Mike started looking a little bit more freakier, more defective. Tight clothes, Jay curl, silky hair, more girly, more feminine. Basically feminizing the men, right? <clears throat> Do the sounds and the songs. Niggas was hard, but niggas was crying over Mike. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to dance strong ass niggas doing the motherfucking moonwalks and all this other shit sliding. And, you know what I mean? So you got to think the shit, the energy that he was bringing out of niggas, right? Because, you know, niggas, you know, niggas dance, but niggas ain't no dancing. A lot of niggas ain't dancing niggas. That's for like a certain kind of nigga. You know, every nigga is not a dancey ass. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, even though we all got rhythm, you know what I'm saying? But everybody don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Be Chris Brown at the end of the day. Only Chris Brown could do that Chris Brown shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so certain niggas try to do that Chris Brown shit look goofy. But anyway, long story short, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Jackson come with the bad shit, right? More of this bad frequency. LL Cool J as far as hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm bad. You feel me? More of this bad shit. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, um, an LL, you know, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? They say a lot of different things about L, basically. But when you look at him now, smoothed up, metrosexual type of motherfucker and all that. Bad freaks. I'm not saying he can't be a pretty boy, clean cut nigga and all that. But when you get on the metrosexual shit, that means you prettier than your bitch type shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's all good. You feel me? Like, I'm on some prodigy shit. Like, fuck looking cute. We saved that for the broads. You heard? But it is what it is. Everybody got their own wave. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, he came with the I'm bad shit. Then you get, you know what I'm saying, uh, bad boy. You can take it to bad boy. The thing about the bad boy shit was, you know what I'm saying, Biggie ended up getting sacrificed because he wasn't trying to like do all that gay shit. Basically, the, the whole frequency shit wasn't, it wasn't fitting with Puff. You know, Puff is on some weird shit. You know, let me see how he was talking to Fab on that motherfucking drink champs and all that. That's just some weird shit. No matter what they may have behind closed doors, secret shit, whatever it is. So and the, the average I human nigga, regular real, real nigga shit, you alpha male shit, nigga, you was doing some weird shit. That's, that shit sounded weird, nigga. I don't give a fuck if it was some business deal shit. That shit, you shouldn't have said it like that, nigga. We sounded fruity as fuck. But hey, you know what I'm saying? That was just perception is your reality. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, puffy, bad boy, blah, blah, blah. Then you get Rihanna, bad bitch, Beyonce with this bad shit, you know what I'm saying? And they promoting this frequency all the way down to Nicki Minaj. You know what I mean? And now you see where that took it. When we stop at the Nicki Minaj mark of hip hop and music, you see, notice after that, all that gay shit and all that shit just was like, it just flooded. The bag goes back to like a hermaphrodite, you know what I'm saying? Hermaphrodite type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker come out with mixed genders and all that other shit, you know, freaky, weird, defective shit, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I mean, that that's a whole nother story in itself about the hermaphrodite, hermaphrodite, you know, because them was like the first beings to keep it above. But, um, you know, after we done got to a level where we started making ourselves this way, and now when they come out, it's like, yo, you ain't even supposed to be around no more, Lord. We, we, don't, we don't make that kind no more. You feel me? You a limited edition type shit. So with that being said, you know, uh, just think about it from Nicki Minaj on to the Cardi B's, the Young M.A.'s, the Young Thugs. You know what I'm saying? All that shit that flooded. You know, it's like the flood, the gates got opened and the shit got flooded. You heard? To where now, like, the whole shit is on some bad shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole shit is on some bad shit. Basically, if you ain't a bad bitch, you ain't popping. Every bitch rapper that I've seen come out except for um, Sa'ra. Is on some bullshit, really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and shout out to the other ones that's doing their thing, but I'm talking about, like, this, hit that scene like that. Sa'ra, you know what I'm saying? She on her way. She ain't got to, she and she on, you know, sex appeal, whatever it is, but she don't really got to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just got to rap, basically. We want to hear lyrics and bars now. Like, we, we tired of looking at titties and ass, like, basically, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to hear motherfuckers spit. You know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers is getting over just through image, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, because they know that sex sells. You know, <clears throat> people not even paying attention to the lyrics. You paying attention to the bitch, how good she look and all that, how she sound and all that shit. Like, that shit sounds sexy. So, the shit be corny. Half of that shit whack. 
But motherfuckers sound sexy and all that. So now niggas is feeling this shit, blah, 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 whatever it is. They got the little sex appeal in it. You know, they talking they thought shit and all that, whatever it is. So that shit, you know, is catchy and all that other shit or whatever, right? Megan the Stallions, blah, blah, blah. Motherfuckers saying that could be a man. We don't know whatever. But if it is, look what they doing to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got you on some shit like liking the, you know what I mean? The nigga on the stage. If that's a nigga, you know what I'm saying? So... You just got to be, like, mindful of all that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind that, you know, the bad frequency, you know, <clears throat> is, is in the music. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the music. And if you watch the, the generations, you know, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, decade after decade, decade after decade, artist after artist coming with the bad frequencies, right? And you see what happened to them. You see how they life, they see how they turned out. But we'll, we'll see if they got a little defected, little, you know what I'm saying? A little other shit going on with them, a little freaking them. Cause everybody got a little freak, but I'm talking about that freaky freaky, you know what I'm saying? When well, you crossing that line freaky, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? The bad frequency, you know what I mean? It's all in the music and it's fucking up the vibe for our children. You know what I'm saying? The little girls, you know, so they think they got to be bad bitches and all that just to be something. You know what I'm saying? The nigga think he got to have a bad bitch. You know what I mean? Why you can't have an empress? You know what I'm saying? You don't need no bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Even though we know bitch, go back to dog. And dog mean the dog star. We talking about the star series. So bitches shouldn't get offended when niggas say bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's the manner that you using it in. You know what I'm saying? We all understand that. But the term bad in front of the bitch, you know what I'm saying? Turns it into a whole nother... You know what I'm saying? Level of uh, speaking. When you're talking about an acidic language or this English language that niggas don't have no overstanding of third grade grammar of. As an adult, you niggas don't got a full comprehension of motherfucking third grade grammar, nigga. Running around and all that. So you're using words of art and don't know, you know, who painted them and why they painted them and where they paint got the paint from. You know what I'm saying? Like... So y'all got to get in tune, man, because it's real like that. You know what I'm saying? Words carry spirits, and they have motherfucking vibratory weight to them, and they can affect, you know what I'm saying? Just the motherfucking atmosphere that we get, the situation, you know what I'm saying? So imagine that we rapping this shit and doing all that. Look what it's doing to us, man. Look at it on the whole, you know what I'm saying? It's real fucked up out here, you know what I mean? Like, so the thoughts, everything begins with a thought. We got to get our minds right, you know what I'm saying? We listening to some fuckery, and all how the fuck we supposed to get our mind right, you know what I'm saying? So the beginning of the day, Think before you act. You know what I'm saying? Traveling harmony has been another galactic glorious day. Peace.